Hello, Jim Howard here. Welcome to Howard's Notebook. I've been online since uh, 1982, so uh, enjoy the video that's uh, coming up. Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, April 8th of 2019, and I received this email earlier, well, five hours ago. Uh, it's Windows Insider Program it says you might have heard that some changes are coming for Microsoft Edge and today we're excited to announce that the first preview builds of the next version of Microsoft Edge based on Chromium are now ready for download on Windows 10 PCs and you can see what's on the screen so I don't have to don't have to read it to you you can read it. Well, I'm, I'm eating a salad. Believe it or not, a salad. I went to the uh, Walmart grocery store today. Got Coke and a whole bunch of items and we got a big salad here. You've never seen me eat a salad before, have you? I want to live forever, right? Um... So I went, excuse me, and downloaded it. Windows Edge, which is their browser, the Microsoft browser. Uh, here on the desktop, if you can see my mouse, over here what says DEV Microsoft Edge Development. I put it down here in the tagline. You can see it there. And so this is it running. Um, and I actually went ahead and deleted Chrome off of my computer. Uh, how can rabbits eat this stuff? Yeah, I may later, you know, delete, delete, uh, I wonder if I can delete, actually delete, I don't know, I think I tried. Yeah, it would not let me delete Edge. So this is it running. Um, seems to run just fine. I have no problem with it. Um, I'm not going to get into politics, but Trump has fired his Department of Homeland Security head, and uh, what I'm more concerned about is the fact that he's fired the head of his of the Secret Service. That's kind of strange. I've I've never. I've never really heard of the head of the Secret Service being fired before. I think they usually retire, you know. I like these. I love. I I love these live webcams. Especially this is in Nassau, I think. Port Nassau. I don't know if that's in the Carib. I don't know what's in the Caribbean or is it in. The, I don't know. But uh, I love to watch cameras like this. Back when I started out, I was live streaming video, and when I was live streaming video, of course it was not of a resort, 
This looks like it's froze. Maybe I need to, uh... Nope, it's working now. Because we have audio. Um, back before Amazon, back before YouTube, back before all of them. Uh, all I knew that was running, and of course I could have been mistaken, but I mean, I was checking everything. The only live cameras on the, well, the World Wide Web didn't exist then. Uh, no. Uh, it was a camera that was aimed at a coffee pot in a business someplace. And a, uh, coffee or a camera that was aimed at a vending machine and uh, I started live streaming and I can't say that I was the first because I'm sure whenever you do somebody's going to always say well you know but uh, people would come to this my site And they'd say, you're not live, you're not real. You know, in the chat room, and, yeah, I am, you know, this is live. No, you're not. They'd say, you know, hold up two fingers or do, you know, do whatever. So I was doing it a long time ago, and I just love, uh, especially, uh, now I've also, not, not this one, I think this is actually a new site. But I guess they have a bunch of it says they have 25 live cameras, I think, from seaports or airports and such. Okay, they have two sites here. Let's see what shows up here. Uh, let's see, viewers, watch other webcams, okay. Oops. Okay, watch other. Port Everglades, Port Canaveral, Port Miami, Port St. Martin, Aruba, 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 Port Tampa. Let's look at uh, Port Canaveral. I took a uh, boat out of there, a ship out of there, I believe, to gamble. It just went from there. Uh, beyond well I think that's the port it was at port that was at uh, Titusville okay I don't want to spend too much messing with this because let me try another one port New York see what welcome oh I see I have to click and it must start Okay, I'm not going to mess with it. Add free premium viewer. All right, we'll go. Shut this down. Shut this down. Shut this down. I'm just going to go to... Uh, Let's see. Hitler's nephew. I haven't heard that. That's from top ten. Ten fascinating plot wrinkles of World War II. Looks like Hitler's nephew is in a Navy. Look, I think on the hat it says USA, I believe. Not sure if that's UK or USA. Anyway, uh, right away I was able to install LastPass and uh, add Blocker here with Windows or Microsoft Edge development browser. Let's see, we have new tab, new window, new private window, Zoom, 
uh, favorites, history, downloads, apps. Let's click on apps here. Map or app manager. Let's see. What's this? Install 84 YouTube. Wow. I'm not sure what that is. 84 YouTube. Website apps work like other apps on your computer, though you manage them from here. Okay, let's let's close that. We'll go back here to apps extensions. So these are the two extensions I have right now. <coughs> Add blocker plus. Last pass. Let's see here are the extensions that you can get. No, I guess I have to search for and oh, get extensions of the Microsoft Store. Okay, so here they are. Amazon Assistant. Mm -hmm. Right now, I have everything I need. I mean, I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't use a browser without LastPass. Adblocker, and I was one of the late people to start using Ad, or to use it, because, you know, I realize sites have to, uh, have to make some money to pay their bills and that type of stuff. But even, even, uh, CNN, when I go and turn it off, I get hit, bang, 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 you know. Why don't they be a little bit, if you're not running it, then you don't, you don't, you know, if you just get it with a little bit, you know, but not have them in your face. So, let's see what else here. History, downloads, apps, extensions, print, find on page, read aloud, more tools, um, save page as, pen to desktop, cast media to a device, settings, profile, appearance, On startup, uh, privacy and services, site permissions, uh, downloads, language, printing, system, see what the system is, continue running background apps with Microsoft Edge is closed, et cetera, et cetera, reset settings about Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge is up to date, version 74.1.96.24, official build, 64-bit. Microsoft Edge is made possible by Chromium Open Source Project and other open source software. So, there you have it. Um, I'm I'm not sure. Since I was sent this invitation, I applied to, uh, so I'm not sure that if I give you, if there, I'll look and check if there's links out there now so that you can get signed into the program. Uh, I'll do a little search and I'll post. Um, Drinking IBC root beer. It's good. I've had it in the past, and it says the first time I've noticed it's made with sugar, with the cane sugar. 160 calories. Glass bottle.
Okay. Um, I think that's it. I just wanted to let you know about Microsoft. Well, let's see. Uh, about uh, Microsoft Edge development, or whatever it's being called. So, um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, Jim Howard here again. You thought I uh, ran off or something? Uh, what you're looking at is a article from LinkUp Magazine, uh, 19 March of 1984, LinkUp Magazine, and uh, I'm one of the. I was one of my bulletin board system was one of the ten sites picked for this magazine article. This is a reminder. Medication. Yep, I need to take my medicine. This is a reminder. Medication. It's 6 p.m. Anyway, uh, the discless BBS. Howard's notebook, by the way, do not call this number. A... Uh, a lot of boards try to compete with the source and CompuServe. They have dozens of special interest groups, special interest section, a complete com command menu two feet long, and multi megabytes of storage. But Jim Howard's board in Raymore, Missouri, may be the only personal BBS in the country that operates without disk storage. Howard wanted to start a board for his TRS-80 Model 1, but friends told him it couldn't be done without at least one disk drive. He even consulted the author of a popular BBS program for the TRS-80, and he too said forget it. Two weeks later, I had my system up and running, Howard said. And anyway, the article goes on. I guess you can read it yourself. There's a little bit on page three a little tiny bit but very proud of that article because if you read it that's that's a blog when you read uh, what my system was doing a lot of people thought think they're you know well, I was blogging because they had a, they, because they had a BBS or something and some of them did but mine has all the attributes all the points of a uh, of a blog so anyway Thank you very much for watching.